Yet again, we have another example of a church that is more concerned about pleasing people than they are pleasing God. We're going to get into all the details of it, guys. Off the top, let me mention, if you would like to make a generous donation here to our ministry, the links to do so are down below as we are demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal or Patreon set up for you down below. Even just five bucks a month on Patreon gets you bonus content. We also include the links for the YouTube videos to make sure you get alerted every time new content arrives. Then when you're there, why not just comment on these videos censorship free and avoid YouTube blocking and hiding the comments you guys write. Then make sure you go sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. So go check out what we're posting there. All the links are down below. Then please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Let's talk about Ohio. Let's talk about Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's talk about Crossroads Church, the mega church there that is now getting all of this controversy and backlash. Uh, after a guest speaker from the Christian Center of Virtue, David Mahan, he was there speaking on July 18th. And well, the message that he spoke offended those who are LGBT. So what did the church do? Did the church back David and the message, the presentation that he gave? No. Instead, they cowered. They bowed down to all of the demonstrations and the protests that were occurring there at the church campus when David was there to spend his message. Now, what was this message that David was talking about here? Well, he was talking about the dangers of puberty blockers and transitioning from this type of a gender to that type of a gender and just letting people know about what's going on with this whole thing and how this is not good for your kids. Now, David has gone around, you know, many different churches and he's given the same type of a message and presentation. Crossroads invited him to come and speak. But so many that know about David and the message that he talks about, because let's just face it, he brings truth and they don't like that. They gathered around to demonstrate, to protest him even being there. And then some that were even in attendance for his actual session that he had expressed just I mean, shock. One member named Ashley said she was shocked at the comments made by David. She thought that Crossroads was accepting and affirming. Uh, affirming? Okay, well, you better open up the Bible and look and read very carefully what it says about the lifestyle that you're living. And please show me if there's scripture that, that says anything about how we affirm your lifestyle because you're not gonna find it in there. Now, as far as accepting goes, God accepts everybody, okay? You're more than welcome to come to the church, but the church doesn't have to sit there and affirm your lifestyle. And if it hurts your feelings, good, because that's called conviction. Conviction from the Holy Spirit. So the church had a chance here. Were they going to stand and defend their decision to have David there? No, they didn't, in fact, the very next week on the July 25th service, well, the apology came. They said that they recognized that we had a speaker here last week who, by the way, they didn't even mention his name, David Mahan, okay? They didn't even mention the organization for which he came from at all. They said, we recognize that it hurt many in the LGBT community and we express deep regret for that. We didn't mean for that to happen at all. God loves everybody. He loves the LGBT community. Quit addressing them as a community. Not to mention, also, they removed the entire message from all their social media platforms, David's name, like I mentioned, and his organization, completely gone. This is a church that cares more about pleasing people than they do God, okay? Now, they say that their mission there is to get people to Christ. Is it really? Is it? Because if you had any backbone whatsoever, you would have supported everything that David said in that message. He was sitting there giving detailed, you know, I mean, sound scientific proof and evidence for everything that's going on with these 
transitions with the kids and what's do, what it's doing to them and their parents. Terrible things. And yet, you apologize for having him there to talk about those issues because it hurt the feelings of some of these individuals. <laughs> you will stand before God one day and you will give an account for your actions, for what you've done, for what you've said, for not being bold. If this is what Crossroads Church wants to be, you might as well take the Bible that you're supposedly preaching from every single week and just toss it in the trash because you care nothing about preaching an uncompromised word of God. You care nothing at all. Protesters from the, from the rainbow community protesting in front of the church? Who cares? Who cares? They need to know beyond a shadow of a doubt where that lifestyle will lead them if they do not repent. Are you preaching repentance at Crossroads? Or are you just trying to be their friend and create a welcoming and, and, and a, a space for everybody to come and, and attend church? Is that what you're doing? You will be held accountable for your actions. Lead pastor, Brian Tome, Tome, however you pronounce his last name, he will answer to God. He was the one apologizing. This is why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines that are going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus is coming back soon. These apostate churches are rising up more and more each and every single day. We talk about it. We're going to continue to do so as long as we can. But do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If not, this is your opportunity. This moment right now. Here's how you do it. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God gave his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. But what you have to do, you have to repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from that sin, not just to say you're sorry. You have to actively repent from a lifestyle, habits, Whatever it is in your life that goes against God's word. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. And let me just say this as well. In this hour that we're living in, which is what I believe the final hour of human history on this earth before Jesus comes back. He's looking for people who will be bold. He's looking for people who will take a stand, a stand for righteousness, who will not be afraid, who can preach his word without compromise, without fear of backlash, of protests, any of that. Are you one of those people who are willing to do that? I will put more for you guys on this down below in the description. You can check it out. Maybe some of you attend Crossroads Church there in Cincinnati. You can give us your thoughts on David Mahan, Brian Tome, the apology, all of it. And don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.